riddle me this, computer wife. What's hollow, full of lies, and leaves a bad taste in your mouth? Our marriage. Oh! I was just trying to make myself pretty for you, but do you even care? All you ever do is make stupid schemes about stupid sandwiches. Stupid? Your new screensaver is stupid, and it makes your processor look fat! It's right here in my kidney. I mean heart. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Oh, my Karen. Oh, my Karen. Oh, my computer wife, Karen. Put down those punch cards. Put down those punch cards. And listen to my ode. Oh, my Karen. Oh, my Karen. Oh, my computer wife, Karen. What compares to, what compares to, uh, uh, Aha! Your beautiful diodes! Oh, my Karen. Oh, my Karen. Oh, my computer wife, Karen. I was blinded. Yes, I was blinded. I was blinded by the light of your cathode ray. Oh, I built you. Yes, I built you. I built you in the, uh, um, hmm. in the shape of a cube. Oh, my Karen. Oh, my Karen. You'll never know how much I love your vacuum tube. Stay away, I knew it! Right, let me guess. Another failure? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Machines these days, right? Uh, listen, sweetie. I'm sorry about what I said. The truth is, I could never replace you, honey bunch. Let's go home, huh? <laughs> okay. Hey, I can whip us up a little dinner. What do you say? Sheldon's a funny name. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm done. No more. Oh, good. Karen? No, I don't have it. Why do you even bother asking? Yeah, yeah. Look, send over my killer death robot, would you? No, the other one. I love you too, Snookums. Help is on its way. Another bag of chum. Ugh. Now to shape this into His Highness's dinner request. <laughs> Almost done. Here you go. 
made up. What's this supposed to be? Chum seaweed, chum pot pie, chum con coral, and chum tea, also known as dinner. Karen, your memory banks are gummed up again. I did not request chum pot pie. I requested chum stir fry. Well, I told you months ago that my memory is full, but you've been too busy with your latest project. So tell me, Plankton, how do you plan on failing to steal the Krabby Patty formula this time? Computer wife, don't start with me. This plan is foolproof, I tell you. Foolproof! <laughs> Not only will I soon grasp the formula, but I'll be rid of your bad memory as well. Karen, I want you to meet my new computer wife. Karen 2! <gasps> Karen 2? I've been replaced? I'm afraid so. But can you blame me? She's got triple the processing, all the latest software, and a sleek space-age design. <laughs> the whole package! I can't believe this. After all I've done for you, you dump me for this cheap pile of plastic? Well, I had to cut costs somewhere. Who are you calling cheap? At least I don't rust. You know, you're gonna wish you deleted that comment. Hey, come on, babe. Don't take it so hard. You'll find love again. Maybe you'll meet a nice, uh, adding machine. Oh, that does it. Oh, why did I program her with a jealousy scheduler? And why did I outfit her with a molecular rearranger ray? Here's your stir-fry, little man! Uh, let's not do something we might regret! You should know regret's the one thing you left out of my operating system. <laughs> huh? What happened? I accessed the Chum Bucket's power grid, remotely cutting off Karen's power at the source. <laughs> Karen, too? I knew you were special the moment I laid eye on your motherboard. Goodbye, Karen Classic. Hello, Karen, too! <laughs> ah, the end of another lucrative workday, SpongeBob. Yes, the end. The quitting time is almost too much to bear. Seriously, son, you gotta lighten up. Well, good night, kiddo. Good night, sir. See you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Sure as the sea's wet. Catch you later. So long. Bye bye. Doodle. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've been saved by a pile of trash. This isn't a pile of trash. It's a free computer system. Free? Now, what kind of barnacle would throw out a perfectly good computer? Judging from our location, I'd say Plankton. Heh, <laughs> always has been a knucklehead. Could this be one of Plankton's elaborate ruses? Perhaps. But who could pass up a free computer? Let's plug her in, see what she can do. She's loading up. Now let's see how this dial-up thingy works here. This thing does text mails, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, oh, that sounds promising. Yeah! Our <laughs> computer's supposed to emote. <laughs> you need to cry, little lady. Don't tell me not to cry. <laughs> hey, she's malfunctioning. It must be the dial-up thingy. You're right. It must be interfering with her circuitry. <laughs> Oh, it's not the dial-up thingy, it's Plankton. He dumped me for a newer piece of hardware. No! <laughs> Help me out here, buddy. <laughs> hey there, dry those computer tears. I'm sure you two will get back together. Plankton just needs some time to realize how much he needs you. I mean, you guys were made for each other. Well, you were made more for him, and more specifically by him, and now he's built someone with more modern features who's better in every way. That's no, uh, what was my point again? Oh, you men are all alike. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Smooth, SpongeBob, real smooth. Let's talk this out! Careful, Mr. Krabs, this could still be a ruse. Karen's loyalty may still be with Plankton. SpongeBob, what part of free computer are you not understanding? <laughs> Tonight we celebrate, and tomorrow, the secret formula. <laughs> I don't ever want to see that low life again as long as I live. Goodbye, you miserable little bug. Well, in that case, welcome aboard. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! That's right. Huh? Welcome to the Krusty Krab. May I take your order? My order? I see Squidward must not have gotten the last company text mail. Karen will be taking over your duties from now on, Mr. Squidward. She's efficient, 
And more importantly, I don't have to pay her. So, I'm fired? No more taking orders? No more interacting with customers? No more SpongeBob? I'm free! <laughs> I'm free! I'm free! <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Squidward. <sighs> Hi there, can I get a Krabby Patty and a side of Coral Bits, please? You'll get your Krabby Patty when I'm good and ready! Sorry, I'm just going through a lot emotionally right now. Well, you know what cheers me up if I'm feeling down? You defragment your hard drive? No, putting in a hard day's work at the greatest job in the world, the Krusty Krab! What's the holdup, Karen, too? That secret formula's not gonna steal itself, you know. I'm trying to open the door. You didn't exactly design me with arms, you know. Yes, I suppose that's true. All right, I got this. <laughs> What's she doing here? Karen? Working at the Krusty Krab? What the? <laughs> wow, it's a if it isn't Little Miss Home Wrecker. And if it isn't the washed up analog, has been analog. Who you call an analog? Uh, I see you've taken your proper role as a cash machine. At least I don't look like I was designed to be a glorified vacuum cleaner. Well, at least I can say I was designed. <gasps> Why are you order? You rusty bucket of bolts. You glorified toaster oven. You poor excuse for a housewife. Yeah, man. Hey, what's going on? I don't know, but my money's on the one with the chrome backside. Excuse me, did you say money? Welcome to the fight of the century, where for only $5.99, plus the purchase of two Krabby Patties, you will glean the answer to the age-old question, which is superior, high-speed integrated circuits? Prepare to have your motherboard rattled. Or old school vacuum tubes and diodes! You're about to have your cookies crumbled. Bring it. Wait, this isn't getting me any closer to the formula. <sighs> That'll defrag your algorithms. Ow! Plankton. Ow! <gasps> Stop, he's hurt! You're throwing in the towel? You heartless homepage wrecking hussy! Yeah! No one runs down my man. Planky, say something. Take me home, baby. Even though you're a tiny green loser, I could never stay mad at you. <laughs> Don't you leave me, Karen. Not again! I hope this works. Oh, Karen, please wake up. I promise never to take you for granted again. What happened? I had a reality check. That's what happened. Come on. Let's go home to the jump bucket, honey. I had the strangest dream. I dreamt there were two of me. Two of you? <laughs> well, that is strange. Oh, great. There goes me revenue. What am I going to do now? Well, we could rebuild Karen, too. Welcome to the Krusty Krab. May I take your order? Beep, beep. Keep it up, Mr. Squidward. The kids love robots. Oh, well, I wouldn't do to have my face in a toilet right now. So great catching up with you, Hannah. Uh, it's been too long. Uh, oh, you poor thing. Sounds like you have a bug. Better go home and reboot. Remember, only keywords tonight. You need to rest your process. Karen! What do you want? Oh, no. Your nodes are swollen. That old bucket of bolts gave you a computer virus. Oh, nonsense. I'm the fastest computer alive. Ha ha ha! Alive! 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 Uh oh! <laughs> My ones and zeros look like ten, 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 ten! 
someone's gonna have to get inside you and kill that virus. It's probably a suicide mission. But who would be stupid enough to... What now? Oh, I'm just helping out the health department. Hmm? Sanitary notice. The chum bucket hereby gets a grade Z from the health department. Hey, that's up from a negative Z last week. Congratulations, Plankton. In a few more years, you're sure to get an F. Uh, wow. Never mind about that. I have a snow job and a job for you. Karen needs your help. She asked for you personally. Oh, Catchy song. Observing in yellow flowers, please. <clears throat> we need a name for this mission. How about Journey to the Center of Terror? No. The Mainframe Mission. Oh, I know. Operation Save Karen. Whatever. Just blast the virus when you see it. Oh, like this. <laughs> something? What is it? It has something to do with you asking a certain someone to spend the rest of her life with you. What? We each wear rings in memory of this moment. Enough with the riddles, woman. Just tell me what this proud moment in my life is. Oh, you selfish green twit. It's our wedding anniversary. Oh, that. Yippee. <laughs> you forgot that I got you the perfect gift. <laughs> Crabby Patty formula? How did you get it? First I went to the Krusty Krab. One Krabby Patty, please. Thank you. Whatever. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Well, you can tell me later. You're not getting this until you get me a gift. Mm. From your heart. <laughs> so, what's your favorite thing for you and Karen to do together? Well, we like to take long walks on the beach, and uh, we talk about our dreams. Uh, our dreams of conquering all of Bikini Bottom to become supreme overlords of all creation, and to trample our enemies beneath our feet. <laughs> yeah. Trampling? Enemies. Now tell me about Karen. Well, she's a Mark II surplus Univac with 256 gigs of RAM, and uh, there's the cutest bull on her CPU, and the way she processes data. <laughs> Woo, mama. Does she have any hobbies? Uh, well, uh, she does make a lot of beeping sounds. Interesting. Does she ever go ding? Now that you mention it, she does go ding. At least once a day. Oh, a music lover. I think we have our solution. You need to serenade her. Who, me? I can't sing. Not to worry. When you're done, you'll be as golden-voiced as me. I've got to stop it before it's too late. 45% loaded. Oh, I'll delete. 55% loaded. How do you turn this thing off? Get your hands off my wife! Well played, Krabs. Well played indeed. But as usual, this one-eyed creepy crawly is one step ahead of you. You can't beat Plan B. You can't beat it. Oh, uh, this is gonna be so sweet! Karen, we are going on a luxury cruise! A cruise? Just the two of us? Oh, Plankton! <laughs> Hey, if this is another scheme to steal the secret formula, you can leave me home. No, of course not. 
just think of it as our second honeymoon. Don't you have to have a first honeymoon before you embark on a second? Why don't I bump those vacation settings up a smidge? Oh, Plankton, this second honeymoon is gonna be so great! Yeah, it's gonna be groovy, babe. Now a quick check of the vacation inventory. Suntan lotion, sunglass, death laser. Got it. Did you see the pretty laser, honey? See it? It almost split me in half! Whoops, sorry! I'm just so excited about our cruise. Cruisey, cruise, cruise. <laughs> cruise. Cruise! Cruise! <laughs> cruise! <laughs> Gotta rethink that vacation algorithm when we get back. Nothing tops kicking back next to my loving computer wife and soaking up the rays. Oh, I hope I don't get screen burn. <laughs> Let me give you a hand with that, honey. Oh, Plankton, you're such a sweet husband when you aren't obsessing over that stupid secret formula. Where's Plankton and Karen? I'd say some form of punishment's called for. This is bad. <laughs> I told you this would happen. I knew the plan would work. No, you didn't. You glowed in with me. Don't you tell me what I did and did I not have do. The same do they don't the need punishment. They have each other. <laughs> <laughs> That thing isn't even a graphing calculator. Weak. Oh, come on. How can you look at our baby itty little keyboard and say he's not the cutest? I have the perfect name for him. <laughs> well, don't you want to know the name? Not really. It's Chip. He's named after my grandfather. Oh. <laughs> he's in trouble. Don't worry, son. Daddy is coming. Get away from my son! Get away from me! Father! Leave my father alone! Your first word was father. Wait until I rub this in Karen's face. <laughs> Come on, son. Let your old man buy you a quart of oil. Woohoo! <laughs> yes! Sorry, Dad. I'd love to, but I'm leaving for college. I went to college. <laughs> you don't have to leave the key, brother, after all. What are you talking about? Explain yourself, wrong Miss Slacks. Sandy's going to build an ingenious bubble device to stop the volcano. Did you say an ingenious bubble device to stop the volcano? That's right. An ingenious bubble device to stop the volcano. Work on a name. But all we have to do is climb to the top of Mount Humongous and drop it in. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. Those three are the biggest threat to my plot. If they convince the others we don't need to leave, the jig is up. But once they're off on their fools' head, they'll be out of our way. Our way? You said our. I guess I did. You want to be part of the plot? It's just like the old days. Sometimes it takes a little apocalypse. After all these years, your brand still gets me revved. <laughs> Do 
whatever you want because you're a teenager now. You just wait until I tell your father. Oh! What did you just say to me? <laughs> I told Chip that game was too dangerous, and do you know what he said to me? And? <laughs> just talk to your son. I need to cool my circuits. So, how was your talk with Chip? Oh, it went great. He's a good boy. Yeah, he went... Where, where, where is he? Oh, he ran away. What? Why would my baby run away? Because I told him to. Duh. Karen, baby, let's be reasonable here. You find our son and bring him home this instant or don't bother uh -huh. coming. I'm going, I'm going! <laughs> uh, sweetie, maybe we should slow down and pull over? Honey? Precious? No way, Blanky! It's me and you, amigo! Woohoo! Oh, hot dog! Let's go dancing! Woohoo! It along so much better, I just... I just thought... Yes, Sheldon? It's just... Shelly is such a small sounding name. <laughs> Maybe you could call me something else now and then. Something like, uh. I don't know. <laughs> Big guy? Technically, it's your first. Oh, would you can it already? I guess I have no choice but to turn up the settings on my vacation app. Uh, but, but I don't think that's such a good... A super evil genius and a R2 surplus univac. Her CPU is overdue for loving and affection. Karen and this little dude have such a good connection. Puppy! You did it, boy! Oh, I'm so glad you're okay! Wait, is that my good dinner jacket? Oh, who cares about a dinner jacket? Calm down, Karen. You don't want to blow out your motherboard. No, oh, I didn't mean you, Stephen and Karen and Clayton and Vincent. You overload. Uh. Oh, sure. You take a couple of hours to reboot, Karen. It's fine. I'll just manage all these puppies all on my own. Honestly, I don't think anyone in Bikini Bottom would know a decent meal if it looked them right in the eye and said, Hello, I have a decent meal. Wonderful to meet you. Please pay money for me and then put me in your mouth so your old pal Plankton doesn't lose everything he spent his entire life working for. Yeah, and if anyone ever did order one of your meals, it probably would look them in the eye. If it wasn't for me, you probably wouldn't even remember to blink. Oh, come on! When we first met, you were little more than a jumbled mass of diodes and wires. I made you what you are today. Literally! So don't think you couldn't be replaced in a heartbeat. Ow! What's the matter? 
with my eyes burning and I don't know why! Blink. <laughs> oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Karen! What's this? It's words on paper. It says, Dear Plankton, I've logged on to another network. I just can't go into sleep mode at night knowing that you'll continue blaming me for all of your failures. Anyway, you're a grown single-celled organism and allowed to make your own syntax errors. Nice knowing you, Karen. Ah! Who needs her? Not me! I'm gonna steal that Krabby Patty formula from Mr. Krabs once and for all, and then we'll see who's made the error. <laughs> 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 Ow! P.S. Don't forget to blink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I can whip us up a little dinner. What do you say? You want me to leave you again? Uh, we could go out. It'd be fun, too. I love you, too. Planky Bear! Plankton! <laughs> Plankton! What? What is it, Karen? Can't you see I'm working here? Yes, but I wanted to show you my new screensaver. What do you think? Great. You didn't even look. <sighs> no, I didn't. Can't you see I'm working on my new molecular analyzer? Now all I need is the smallest molecule of a patty, and the formula will be mine! Just tell me if I should permanently upload the screensaver. I said not now! Analyzing. 30% mean guy, 20% spiteful monster, 50% evil butthead. Sample is 100% big jerk. I have also analyzed your screensaver, Karen. It is most beautiful. No one asked you. Are you happy now, Karen? No, I'm not. I was just trying to make myself pretty for you, but do you even care? All you ever do is make stupid schemes about stupid sandwiches. Stupid? Your new screensaver is stupid, and it makes your processor look fat. What? Okay, let's all calm down before you say something you'll regret. You know what? No one talks to me like that. Get out! I will not get out! This is my restaurant and no one can make me... Leave! Karen, baby! Come on, sugar lips! You know I'm sorry for everything I said! You've always been the only one for me! Aw, oh, Plankton, I am so sorry that Karen threw you out. Threw me out? I threw her in! Hey, this is your safe place. It's okay to talk about your feelings. Oh, somebody's tense. Hey, what? Get off! Get off! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's a spot. Now, tell SpongeBob uh, yeah, why you and Karen got into a fight. Yeah, I don't know. I was just doing the same things I always do. Well, if Karen threw you out for doing the same things you always do, Maybe you should learn to not do the same things you always do. But I'm the best. Well, sometimes you can get a little aggressive. Me? Aggressive? How dare you! <laughs> Maybe you're right. I can be a big jerk sometimes. I command you to help me be a nicer person! I mean, will you please, please help me be a nicer person so Karen will take me back? Plankton, in a word, yes. Plankton, are you sure about this? Of course I'm sure. Now start doing a robot voice. Remember, you're not SpongeBob anymore. You're Shelby Nordica. Oh, I like that. Boop, beep, beep, boop, boop. Welcome to the Chum Bucket. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Yes, hello. I would like your most romantic table for myself and my beautiful date, Shelby Nautica, the robot. Beep, boop, bop. Hey, you, get your hands off my man. 
you better step off, lady. No one can make Plankton happy like I can. We are soulmates, and we are going to get married and print 1,347 babies. 1,000 what? Oh, well, you're really in love. I won't stand in your way. Plankton's all yours. Yeah! No! The whole point of this scheme was for me to get Karen back, and now you're ruining it! Sorry, Plankton, you just said such nice things to me. Wait a second. You're not just being a jerk, you mean? You cooked this whole stupid scheme up to win me back? Of course I did. I'd do anything for you, baby. Even hang out with this moron. Oh, that is so sweet. Get over here, you. Hmm. Ew, it's that fat screensaver again. What? Now, Karen, take it easy. I'm gonna go now. The board was right about you. She warned me about you. Why can't I just listen to it? Oh, no, yeah, I think. Karen, look, Plankton, Karen came to visit, and she brought you a cake. Do you mind? Oh, uh, I'll be right over here. So, honey, is you-know-what inside? You mean flour, sugar, milk, and eggs? No, no, no! Oh, the secret ingredient. Oh, you mean love? I mean the file. What? The file? Well, I'm glad you're not the baker in the family. The file! Who would put a file in a cake? Karen, you've got to get me out of here! Loading E-M-I-L-P. E-M-I-L-P? What's E-M-I-L-P? Emergency mother-in-law program. Oh, no. Clayton, what have you done to my daughter? You made her cry. You know, she could have been with an ATM. Someone with money. But she chose you. I don't know why. I am not a violent person. However, if you tickle me, and I so happen to accidentally, on purpose, karate chop you in your throat, that is your fault. You have been warned. When when did this happen? When the frick did this happen? You're telling me that this man, this man right here, and, and Karen, K Karen the frickin' robot, they had a son? When? When? Hey! Get me some Skittles, but I didn't want to pay for them. And then one of the store attendants came up to me and was like, Put that back! And then he grabbed my arm and I said, Don't touch me! I truly believe water can solve all our problems. Yes, definitely. You want to lose weight? Drink water. Exactly! You want to have clear skin? Drink water. Yes! Are you really tired of someone? Drown them! Oh my god! started when my mom met my dad and then they fell in love and they had me and boy do they regret it do you know why school can be very bad for you because school stands for six cruel hours of our lives math stands for mental abuse to humans and homework stands for half of my energy wasted on random knowledge L lovers A ass you U, G, Gamer, and H is for happy. Oh, what do you get when you put them all together? How the hell? Uh -huh. you can't leave your own carcass alone for ten minutes in this town. And now, if anyone has anything nice to say about Sheldon, this would be the time. <laughs> um, Lincoln was small and, and green and loud! <laughs> ah!